Hi everyone. Let's say I needed to take a screenshot of this, which you're seeing right here, the Google search page, but more specifically, the web store button. And I wanted to explain to someone that, hey, you can remove this, you can get rid of this button. Well, the way to do that is you have to hover on it, then you press this, then you press remove. Simple, right? Well, the problem is if I want someone to know how to do this, often what works best is having a screenshot. So if I want a screenshot, I have to kind of like hover on this to, to make sure that the triple dots are visible, the button that you see here, right? But I can't leave because when I leave, the button leaves. So I have to stay here, okay? But now if I want a screenshot, what do I do? Well, I'm gonna press print screen, right? Print screen is the default way of taking screenshots. So if I go here into paint and paste what I just print screen, you can see that, yeah, okay, I see the triple dot icon. Unfortunately, I also see web store, some tooltip that appeared here. Uh, but I do see the triple dot icon, you know, so cool. The problem is I do have to crop, which is extra work. I don't really need to crop. Uh, is there a better way, perhaps? Well, let me show you another option. Another option is to press, to hover again, right? And then press Alt print screen. I press on paint, I paste, and here you see that, hey, it worked this time, great. And what's good about Alt print screen is that it only takes the window that had focus. In this case, literally the browser window. That's cool, but again, I have to crop. Why would I have to crop if I don't need to crop, right? Is there a better way? I'll show you a better way. So let's close this right now. And um, I'm gonna show you two different ways, actually. The basic in Windows 10 was snipping tool for a very long time, the basic screenshot functionality. Snipping tool is great. You basically pop this thing up that you see right here, you can press new, and then it lets you select something, right? Select anything you want, release, and there's your screenshot, pre-cropped, perfect. Now there's just one problem, and you can see, where's my triple dot icon? It's missing, right? Because you need a hover state, right? You need to be hovering on that icon for it to appear. So when I move my mouse away to press new for a snipping tool, I lose the hover state. So I can't see the icon anymore. How do we fix this? Well, snipping tool is fantastic, like I said. So if you go back to snipping tool here and notice that there's a nice little button here called delay. So if you actually use the delay feature, you'll notice that there's a few different options from one to five seconds. So if I do three seconds, and then I'm gonna press new, and then immediately move to the button to trigger the hover state, right? So now the hover state has been triggered, and I can just cut here and take exactly what I want to show my friend where he'll need to click. Right, so that's as easy as that can be. So the next way I'm gonna show you is the Snip and Sketch tool, which is built into Windows 10. This was advertised as the snipping tool successor for a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. It's available from the Windows App Store. So here, what you'll notice is it has a slightly different interface. I'm gonna make it just a bit larger. It has a slightly different interface, okay? When you zoom in, you're gonna see next to the new button, there's a blue arrow pointing down. That arrow, when you press it, has additional options. So for example, if I press that arrow, You'll notice that it says snip now, snip in three seconds, snip in 10 seconds. Now, when I press this, the timer is gonna start. I'm gonna have to immediately move into position to get the state that I want. So I'm gonna press three and then you'll see I'll immediately move to the web store button. As you can see, triple dots appear, snipping tool kicks in, and by that I mean the snip and sketch tool. And then I select these icons and release, and then snipping, snip and sketch appears here and shows me uh, exactly what I took a screenshot of. As a final note, I'll just say this isn't always about hover states. There are cases where you want to take screenshots of things that don't require hovering. Let me show you an example. So I'll pop open the old snipping tool here. Okay, so let's say I want to take a screenshot of this, right? So I want to take a screenshot of where it says bookmarks, okay? So I go here, I go to snipping tool, and hey, look, it closed. But I wanted to show that. Like, what do I have to do? I have to go print screen again? Are you kidding? No, no. So the solution is the same as I showed you before. Delay, three seconds. New. And then you pop open the menu. There you go. Now the menu stays visible. And then you can do whatever you want. You can put an arrow pointing to something. And that's pretty much as simple as it is.